How's it going, guys? It is 3.03 a.m. Sunday, July 10th here in Japan, and we have a past level question for pathology for step one. The NBME exams, littered with this style of pathology question. Past level, as I said, not going to be a lengthy clip. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now let's start the clip. Six-year-old woman. She has a 40-pack year history of smoking. She has a two-week history of blood in her urine. Biopsy shows transitional cell carcinoma of the bladder. Question wants to know which answer choice is shittiest in terms of her five-year prognosis. Okay, what's the worst answer choice here for uh, increased chance of death in the next five years. So before diving into the answer choices, we need to quickly differentiate stage versus grade. Okay. As I said, this is past level. So grade reflects a few different things. Number one, degree of anaplasia, not aplasia, which is lack of growth, anaplasia, which means degree of undifferentiation or degree of immaturity of the cells. How dissimilar do the cells look histologically under a microscope compared to the native tissue? If we do a histologic examination of these cells and they look like normal bladder cells, that's low grade. They're well differentiated. Okay, They're mature cells. If we look under a microscope and they look like premature slash immature stem cells, then we call that anapla anaplasia. Okay, They're highly anaplastic cells. That's high grade. So degree of anaplasia is grade as well as number of mitoses. More mitoses, greater number of my mitoses, higher grade. KI67 index reflects mitoses. Okay, it's an obscure test, just no high KI67, a uh, high mitotic index. Also, a high nuclear to cytoplasm ratio is high grade. So the nucleus should be a lot smaller than the cytoplasm. So if it's a one-to-one -one ratio, that means the nucleus is huge. Okay, that's high grade. That confuses some students. They see the ones, they think that that means somehow that's a low grade. It's not. This is high grade. Okay, as well as prominent nucleoli, high grade. So we have ribosomal synthesis, high degree of protein synthesis, reflecting high number of mitoses, high grade. Okay, or rough endoplasmic reticulum, protein synthesis, high grade. So now that we've discussed grade, now there's stage. Stage refers to how much has your cancer invaded slash spread, okay? If you're in situ, if you're confined superficial to a basement membrane, you are the lowest stage. If you've micro-invaded, you've slightly increased in stage. If you spread to lymph nodes, even higher stage. If you've overtly metastasized to distant organs, that's highest stage, okay? Now, the key point here that's past level is that stage is more important than grade for prognosis. Instantaneously, some students will get real fucking pedantic about OMG, there are some CNS brainstem tumors that in theory, uh, grade is more important than stage. I've never seen that on NBME material and that risks students getting questions wrong on the USMLE. Okay, it's not to be disregarded in its entirety. I just never fucking seen it. Every fucking question I've seen is about stage being more important than grade, okay? So, the answer to this question is for which is the shittiest prognosis is the one that's going to have the highest stage, which is choice E, well-differentiated carcinoma with few mitoses and microinvasion. Okay, so this is low grade. It doesn't sound sinister. It's like well-differentiated and few mitoses. Okay, but it's microinvaded. So it's no longer stage zero. Okay, we look at all the other answer choices. They look sinister. They look angry. Okay, it's like OMG, poorly differentiated carcinoma with a one-to-one -one nuclear cytoplasm ratio or high KI67 index. Okay, well, these are high grade, but they don't say anything about the stage here. Okay, and I've seen USMLE do this as well, where they don't mention the stage. That also confuses some students, but here we in choice E, we clearly have an increase in stage. Choice B, we have high grade once again. And choice A, also just high grade. Okay, so... Choice E is the only one where we have an increase in stage, as I prefaced with, exceedingly high yield on step one, okay? Stage is more important than grade. They, what they do is they'll give you a low-grade carcinoma, doesn't sound bad, but they give you an increase in stage, and they want you to know that that's the one that has the worst prognosis. You know the deal. Make sure you make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.